<laughs> yes, we're here for a really, really special show with you. And there's no way I can manage this bunny head all show. <laughs> it's Good Friday, and it's our first official Colour Me Happy. You see, we've been doing these colouring shows every week, and you have absolutely loved them. So we've decided it's now an official show, and because it's Easter... Can you see? Can you see we me? Can, see your tail, can you yeah. see me, Mum wiggling? Yes. <laughs> I, I'm the Easter Bunny. Joe's the Easter Chicken. You, have you got some special eggs for us, oh, Easter Chicken? I've been sitting on these for weeks, warming these up for you. And they're all oh, they're not any old eggs. These are magic eggs because they are full of cash prizes. Uh, you could win uh, vouchers to spend on our website. I have got hundreds of pounds in. <laughs> I'm going to be popping them down here. I'll be I better drop this seat down a bit, hadn't I? If I'm going to be able to get. Oh, hang on. I can't get it to. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll pop that down there. I'll keep these nice and warm. So let me just pop onto here and uh, I'll uh, let these. Um, I'll keep these warm. We'll pick some winners from the comments throughout the show because it is our Easter hunt, which is fabulous. I'm, I'm in a very deep squat here. It's not comfortable. I don't know how these hens do it for weeks on end. Uh, yes, yeah, so Colour Me Happy is our brand new show. We're going to be bringing you colouring every single Friday at 11 a.m. And also, you can download a free colouring book. Isn't that right, Sarah? It is indeed. I've got the free colouring book here. Apparently, I'm being told in my ear I'm quite loud. That's because my microphone <laughs> is right here. Should we, uh, should we do head? See, it is me. <laughs> I know you're all looking at the cat and everyone will be saying, there's no way Sarah's going to have agreed to do that. No way. Well, Sarah did agree to do that. However, I don't want to get white. Uh, I don't want to get me a lovely white costume covered in Spectrum Sparkle pens because that's what we're doing today. <sighs> it's going to be a long couple of hours. It's warm in here. <laughs> right. Microphone on. We can do the show properly now, Joe. I'm all good. I'm still the Easter Bunny. You can still be the chicky. You can still give stuff away. But we've got an awesome, and I mean awesome, two-hour show lined up for you. You thought the last couple of weeks colouring shows have been good. This is just getting even better. Right, your free colouring book download, OK? I've printed it this week onto what colour card. So let's have a look at what we've got. Some gorgeous butterfly designs from Benita. <gasps> We've got a lovely mandala that you're going to be able to colour from Kate. Those of you loving your tri-blend pens would love that. This image, fabulous from Sharon, fabulous to colour with your um, with your colouring pens. Can you see there it is? I've done it in it like a grayscale and, and an intense black. And then this is if you want a really challenging design to go for. So we've got a few different pages. You can go and download them all for free at the details that are on your screen. And um, I've got so much stuff to show you. Our sparkle pens are probably, I would say like the most amazing colouring tool in your armoury. And I'm going to be showing you how you can do all sorts of techniques. My feet are staying firmly on the ground here. Not going to be hopping about. Uh, I've got so much to show you. Now, great thing about Friday mornings is you can colour along with us. So if you've got your Spectrum sparkle pens, and you've got some watercolour card, you can colour along with me and do all of these techniques that I'm doing. All you need, a bit of water, paintbrush, your clear sparkle pen to do a bit of work with, and we're going to have an amazing, amazing couple of hours. But before we get started, I need to tell you, get commenting. Get commenting. Today, more so than any other day, because if you keep commenting, you could be winning some of Joe's eggs. Isn't that <laughs> right, Joe? Yeah, if they haven't cracked by then, no, I hope so. Uh, I mean, I haven't eaten a lot of eggs, Easter eggs, so who knows? Uh, as Sarah was saying, if you want to colour along, if you've got all the tools that you need to do so, then absolutely, this is the time to get yourself ready. Now, if you haven't got the tools and you want to get the tools to colour along, but you're thinking, ah, they won't be here in time, the whole idea of this show is that we bring you everything you need if you want to do everything you're going to see Sarah do, and then the show lives over on Crafters TV all the time. So what you can do 
do is if you like the look of what we're doing, place your order today. When the product arrives, you can then come back and watch this show back, which is fantastic. So um, what I want to do is quickly run you through the different options and ways that you've got of getting hold of this collection. So what we've got firstly for you is the starter collection here. So what you're going to get in the starter collection is you're going to get the water color pad. Now this should normally be $9.99. You've got this within your collection. So you're going to get that included. We're going to start you off with some pens as well. So we're going to give you the Aquamarine, the Amethyst and the Pink Garnet, which are three of our most popular colours. So they should normally be $12.99. We're going to give you something to colour as well. So remember you've got the free download, but then maybe once you've done those, you could then stamp out this beautiful unicorn imagery. We're going to pop that into the bundle for you. And then what you're going to need, of course, is you're going to need something to print that out with, to stamp it out. So we're going to give you uh, the waterproof dye uh, finesse ink pad in Pebble. So you can get that one. That's £25 to get all of that or $33. So it's really, really great value. What else we thought we would do is for those of you that are thinking, yeah, OK, I love the concept of that, but I want more. I want to be able to have a much more comprehensive collection. Then we're going to get you the bumper kit. And let me take you through what you get with the bumper kit, because what you get is three more packs of pens. So you're going to get this one here. And in here, this one is the um, nature trail. And within this one, you're going to get mushroom, lilac, garden green, watermelon, uh, lichen and sunshine. You've also got autumn winter. So you've got smoke quartz, olive jade, harvest moon. Uh, you've also going to get starry sky, holly leaf and red berry. This one here is a uh, spring summer and in there you're going to get pink champagne, moonlight, soft jade, solar red, emerald green and blue topaz. The next one you've got is floral garden. I love the floral ones. They're always so very popular. You've got firefly, tangerine, barn red, orchid, pink lemonade and cotton candy. You've got coastal cottage and in here you've got linen, peach tree, sea spray, magnolia, cornflower blue and pistachio and then finally vintage tones and this one contains teacup, maca oh, macaron, uh, macaron, uh, you've got biscuit, sage, peony and fig in here. Now this should be for all of that would normally be £182.90 however you can get it all for £100 today, which is an £82 saving, or $135. Really, when you think about it as well, if you're going for the um, starter kit, which is £25, for an extra £75, you can get six packs of the Sparkle Pen. So that is really, really great value when you consider they should be £24.99 each. So actually, you're getting, what, £150 worth of added value for £75. It's a fantastic deal. If you want to get your um, if you want to get your orders in, then you can do so uh, by visiting the website, craftscompanion.wherevereyouare.co.uk.com or .eu. Triple points, remember, across the whole website for the whole weekend, right up until Monday evening. So there's never been a better time to place an order you would get 300 points on this collection. Right, I've been keeping these eggs warm. Should we pick one? Oh, oh should, we, should we pick, you should we pick one? Early. Should we start early? Well, I think, you, I think you need to pick a winner. Oh, yeah, I don't have a winner yet. Well, winner. I was just going to pick it and give it to myself, I think. That was like, <laughs> I thought, no you know, way. I was thinking there's hundreds of pounds in here. So what you need to do is you need to comment along. If you want to win one of my vouchers, plot twist, that's a hundred pound one in there. Um, you need to comment along, drop into the comments. And then what is going to happen is um, we thought it was a bit too controversial for me to pick them, you know, because there's so much money at stake. So what's going to happen is someone over in the office is going to pick them at random and going to pop them over. Now, you need to make sure that you're commenting along on the Crafters TV page. So go to Facebook, search for Crafters TV, drop into the comments there. What do we want to know in the comments for people? What do we want to know today, Sarah? What, do, what should people uh, let us know? I want to know what your favourite thing that we've done on the show so far has been. I want to know maybe what your best Easter tradition at home is. I want to know how awesome you think Joe looks in his cheeky costume. I want to know who's got the sparkle pens and who's going for the sparkle pens today. I want to know who's colouring along with us. Don't forget as well, send us your pictures. Take them landscape, right? So when you're doing, when you're doing a selfie, don't take it this way. You've got to take it this way. Doo -doo. Sideways, <laughs> right? Because then it'll fit on our screen better. So send them sideways. And you know what? 
got bunny hairs in, in the middle. <laughs> uh, we can do videos as well. So if any of you want to do a little video, you know, 15 seconds or something, send us a little video of you, we'll even show you videos. All you need to do is email them to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. I also did say dress up last night. Has anyone actually dressed up along with us? <laughs> so we absolutely, absolutely need to see that. I even want to know who's got up in the middle of the night in California to watch us. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, drop uh, us all of that in an email. Drop into the comments as well. Maxine says, Joe is cracking me up i like it maxine uh, now remember whilst facebook is the best place to comment along if you want to watch and shop at the same time then here is how hi i'm joe from crafters tv and i'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows so the best way to watch us is always on crafters tv head on over to our homepage and go to crafters tv you can see all of our shows offers and even shop while you watch now, if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. All the details there of how you can watch and shop at the same time. Now, so many comments coming in. Um, uh, love the costume, says uh, Kim. Love the outfits. Uh, um, oh, Gail says this is day two of Discovering Crafters TV and she's hooked already uh, and having loads of fun. Wow, we love you viewers. love it. Uh, Alex says I've got the sparkle pens, love them. Robin saying love, love, love the costumes. Uh, Karen's got the sparkle pens as well. Uh, excellent outfit, Siren Joe says. Sam. <laughs> uh, so people saying I look very, very bright, uh, that I do. Now, I am going to uh, keep going through these comments. We'll be picking some winners very, very soon, so make sure you get commenting along and let me know what you're up to, all of your Easter traditions, and don't forget to get all of your pictures and videos to studio at uh, Crafters Companion uk. Right now, I'm going to leave you in the very capable hands of the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Consider this Easter Bunny's hands to be very capable indeed. Right, so I've got all my sparkle pens. What I'm going to do is, for any of you who are completely, completely new to this, because we have had hundreds and hundreds of new viewers over the last few days, right? Let me show you what's so awesome about these pens, okay? So this is one of our sparkle pens. Now, what it is is if I open this up right you've got this very special brush nib then you've got a mixing chamber and then you've got in here I'll just take that off this part here is basically holding all of the special ink it's the special ink which has also got that sparkle built in so that if you're doing cards like this one I think if I show you it to the close-up camera you might see can you see the sparkle that we get bouncing off the light yep so any techniques you do with these, you're going to have that sparkle built into them. Now, what you do is, when you first get it, you give it a bit of a shake. We always say, shake it to wake it, right? About 30 seconds of shaking it to get it going. You saw when I took it off, this little ring came off. That's because we send them to you uh, without the seal having been broken. So you've got like a seal in here that hasn't been broken. The first thing you need to do is break the seal. So what happens is when you twist this really hard to come on, it breaks that seal. These are single use, so there's loads of ink in here. It will last a long time, but they're not refillable, these, because you need to get the, um, basically the mixing chamber mixes the pigment and also at the same time the glitter. Now, you see it says push on there. So what we do is we give it a little push, and can you see how the ink immediately appeared there, right? Don't give it too much of a squeeze. You can see that there's the ink, and can you see it traveling down the barrel? If I lift that right up, so I'm kind of trying... You can see the, the ink has made it into the mixing chamber and it's now starting to come down the barrel. You can see in that barrel the actual fibres of the pen run all the way up into the mixing chamber. So these fibres are now becoming completely um, consumed with that ink. So you can see it coming through and we can see it starting to appear coming down the nib. So if you, if you give it too much of a squeeze, all that happens is you're going to squeeze more ink out of, the, out of your pen than what you need. So just a little bit. We're going to get this ink squeezed out 
and then we're going to start just working it through the nib right so a little bit more of a squeeze and i've got just a nice amount that's come out of that ink nib there right so again not too much but you want it nice and juicy and you'll see once we get these you can do nice fine lines we've got these beautiful brush nibs which means that those of you who like to do brush lettering these are perfect for things like your brush lettering can i fit a uh, name in there can i fit my name just about right so that is how you prime your pen for the first time let me show you what we're going to do with it okay so if i got some one, one of the stamps out that we've got on the show we've put a lot of our traditional rubber stamps on this show uh, because i love the feeling that you get with them but what i'm going to do is start right back from the beginning so anyone who's completely new to this you're looking thinking how's that a stamp right well actually it's several stamps so what you're going to do is just with a sharp pair of scissors cut around all of the stamp here so we get this completely cut around oh quite near to the edge but don't worry about getting too close right and then you're going to put your stamp onto a block right now we have rocker blocks available or we have our stamping platforms if i use the stamping platform let me just show you all we want to do is give this a little bit of a spray so you want some adhesive on here now i'm using a spray adhesive this is the way i find to stick my stamps on the best this is the one we've got it available on the website so you can easily uh, get hold of this as you can see as well we've put the details on the screen there for our ultimate stamp and stencil kit that is basically i've planned all my demonstrations for today and everything that we are using right i have included in a bundle today so that if you just want to be able to make all the cards that i'm making on today's show 16 pound or 21.50 and you're going to be able to do it now in that starter kit you've got one of our finesse ink pads this is really special because it is uh, basically a waterproof one now i specifically haven't put black in because i know loads of you watching will already have the black so it's nice to give you something different rather than just keep giving you black and you'll see this is a lovely deep brown okay so i'm getting plenty of ink on here and i'm stamping onto the watercolor card again if you're looking to get the best results it's always just about having the right tools so having the right paper having the right ink and then you can get the best finish so there's the watercolor card on there again we've got a nice bundle on that if you're wanting to stock up on watercolor card now now we've got our lovely poppy and our nice red primed watch what happens you see we can come right into the edge and we can do those lovely big sweeping motions if we want and get that pen working right around there so just bringing that in and can you see it just gives you that lovely if you want that really intensive burst of color okay that is one way to do it what about if we want to dual tone it right i can bring in i've just got here a bit of water and i'm just going to get in a little fine fine nib pen right what we can do put a bit of the ink down here right take a water brush and we can watercolor with this so can you see the nice light effect that we're getting when we're watercoloring it now what happens though is you dilute the um color so you, you get like that paler red coming out to the outside you dilute the color but also you dilute the sparkle because we're washing the sparkle out if you want to watercolor but not dilute the sparkle instead of using a paintbrush use a clear sparkle pen all right so this is my clear sparkle pen now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in with the red so i'm going to put my red down to start with and then i'm going to use my clear sparkle pen as the water brush so what happens is we dilute the color but we don't dilute the sparkle so the intensity of the sparkle remains the same all the way through all that happens is you've got different um you've got a different gradation of color right so same effect but when these dry and i show you it you'll see that actually we've got a lot of sparkle there all i'm doing is cleaning the red off my brush nib now so that's how you watercolor the uh, color down let me show you what happens if we want to start and mix colors though right so what i can do is a little bit of brown right in the center here all right then we can watercolor the brown out with the red so that we get that intensive brown and the brown blends into the beautiful red in the middle all right 
Then we can come in with a yellow, and if we want to create a new shade of orange, we can blend that red into the yellow, and then we can blend that right out to a nice yellowy tip. All right? So that's how you would get different colours and different shadings. So let me show you that one again, okay? A little bit of brown in the middle. So you're always going from dark to light. So we've got the dark colour in. Then we come and mix in with the red colour. So we're just dragging that brown into the red. So you then get into that lovely shade of red. And then from the red, we're going to blend and drag it out with the yellow. Uh, loads of you are commenting along. I think we've got more people on Facebook this morning than I've seen in the whole time uh, that I've been here. There's so many of you. Um, Happy Easter says Anne uh, from Scotland. I work for the NHF. NHS, was lucky enough to get uh, today off. So stay home, stay safe everyone. Watch all these shows back to keep you amused. That's a great idea. They're, these are just so sparklicious, aren't they, uh, Sarah? I'm going to try and hold this up to the light, see if I can get this back. Do you know, you can see the sparkle, but I think it looked even better when it was on the overhead, wasn't it? So if I take it back over to here, look, I'm, I'll end up with pen all over me, right? Can you see there? So you can see that intensive sparkle. What you can see is this one here. It's got a little bit of sparkle, but it's not quite as intensive. You can see it's not catching the light as much because that's where we watercolored it with water, right? So that's just kind of the basics on how the pens work. Let me tell you though, over the next hour and a half or so, we're going to be doing background washes, we're going to be doing four bleaching, we're going to be getting some salt out, we're going to be doing some special effect backgrounds, we're going to get the stencils, we're going to be doing some uh, silhouette stamping. I've got so many techniques to show you. So get these put away and I'll get ready for the first demo, Joe. Oh, well, do you know what? I think it's time uh, to pick a winner. Oh, what colour should I go for? Oh, let's have a good, let me have a rummage. I mean, these are all, oh, they're very warm. I've been sat on them. Uh, wow, should we go for, let's go for the blue one. Now, someone over in the office has um, texted me over uh, a name. So the winner of this one is going to be Anne Cunningham. So Anne Cunningham, uh, Anne, what have you won? Should we take a look? Oh, do, 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 do. 10 pounds, Anne, congratulations. Uh, email prizes at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Anne Cunningham uh, is, you are a, a, a winner, so do let us know. Um, should we do another one while we're here? Oh, hey, are you, look at you going at it. I was going to do another bit of a demo. All Tell right then. I'll do a little quick next bit of my demo, and then you can get ready to pick another winner. I just love giving. I just love giving all the monies away. I, well, I can't help it. I'm a very generous Easter chick. What can I say? It's uh, very generous. <laughs> uh, loads of you commenting along. We love that. Keep dropping into the comments if you want a chance to win. Very busy um, on the starter collection, but more so on the bumper collection. Nearly all of you are going for that bumper collection. It is very, very busy. And remember, don't feel like you have to uh, remember all of this. All of our shows live all the time over on the Crafters TV uh, section of the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. And that is the best place to go if you want to watch and shop at the same time. Uh, so yeah, keep getting your comments in. Also, uh, keep sending us pictures, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, back to you, Sarah. Brilliant, right. Couple showing you how to do a very basic background wash, okay? So let's pick a bit of pink, right? So I'm actually picking colours now from the uh, complete like I have all of the pens, obviously I do, right? So if you get them all, the big bundle, this is everything that you're going to get in there, right? So if you get all of the colours. In the starter kit, we've just included the nice bright, in fact, should I use the pink from the starter kit, right? Where have I put it? I think I've put it down here. Yes. You've got a nice pink. You've got a pink, a purple and a blue. These are the three. I've kept them separate just from your little starter kit if you're wanting to get going, right? So if I just show you what I'm going to do is if I want to do this sort of effect in a background wash, okay, you're going to basically pop your colour down. So I'm going to give it a bit more of a squeeze. Can you see the difference when we get a lot of that out, right? And I'm just giving it an all over background wash, right? Then a little bit of water on my brush. So I'm just getting some water on here, right? Not too much. And I'm just going to watercolour that out. And what happens is the more water you have, the more that just washes out to a much, much paler shade. So can you see from a little bit of ink there, 
we've gone very intensive down to a very very pale shade now just to speed things along i'm going to get my heat gun on this just to dry it out don't you can pick your winner while i'm heat gunning if you want oh, okay. Let me just, uh, uh, another one uh, rita's asking how many colors there are in total in the range i'll find out uh, and let you know uh maxine saying you've got to have a bit of sparkle in your life i could not agree more okay let's pick another winner then uh let me have a good old rummage in my basket uh okay i've got this one we're going to go with the orange one now the orange one is going to be uh chloe cochran who is watching us on uh facebook at the moment so are you ready chloe let's open it up and see what you have won you have won oh, 50 pounds Woo! Uh, so uh, chloe if you're watching you need to drop us an email uh, to claim your prize details along the bottom of your, of your screen prizes at crafters companion uh, dot com i feel like what the fairy godmother no, sorry what if she's in america she can't spend 50 pound if she's in america oh you get 50 dollars oh yeah there we go. Uh, imagine no you sorry you can't have it <laughs> <laughs> no you'll get 50 dollars uh, if you're in there lots of you are asking as well about the clear overlays we've got those on the show i'll to give you the details of those uh, a little bit later uh, so back to you sarah right so now i've dried this all i'm going to do is trim down my cardstock so i find it easier to do it um do the color straight off and then trim the cardstock afterwards okay now this is going to illustrate that point i was saying about whether you overwash with the color or with what with sparkle pen or with water so can you see how intensive the sparkle is up here and you lose that intensity it's like a soft subtle wash down here that's because we've washed it out with water if i washed it out with my clear sparkle pen instead then it would it, you would have it the same level of intensive sparkle all the way down okay so i'm going to keep my mat i'm determined to keep my mat tidy today let me show you a great technique right what i've been doing joe is i have been getting my next stamp ready she says yes i have right so here's the fairy on the this again is in that starter kit right so if you're wanting to do all the cards that i'm doing on the show today all you need to do is get that one kit and all the stamps i'm using the stencils i'm going to use are all included we're so organized aren't we joe i love that we've got it we've got it all planned to a t right so take this round and we're going to get her sitting down here and we're going to just stamp that now I'll stamp this one in the black we have got all of the ink pads on the shore so there you can see she is now wouldn't it be nice if you could see her wings a bit more and see the tote stool watch how we're going to do that right you need a bit of kitchen roll and you need some water and i'm going to bring in the water and i'm just going to pull the water where we want to lift the color out such an easy technique this way in fact you know what what am i can all the techniques i'm going to show you today are really easy once you know how to do them right so then i tap down lift it out look you see it's lifting the color look how you get that little the extra light on there so that we can just lift all of that color out and start and have like um like a shadow effect as it was it works really good on dark colors this so watch what happens when i start and take some out of her wings okay so we're just going to come down the wings pick all of this up right once we've got that color in here we're going to just pick that up and you can see it's starting to come so it'll take a couple of goes to get all of the well you won't get all of the color out you're always going to be left with like a hint of color but you'll start and see all of that color kind of lifting out for you to be able to do all of these techniques wonderful I'm dying to know, Joe, who's got these uh, who's got these sparkle pens and who oh. is crafting along with us this morning. Loads of us. Um, Kathy says that she is colouring along. Robin's got the pens, says they are so, so sparkly. Um, Paula, she started colouring without us. She just couldn't wait this morning, she says. So she uh, <laughs> has already started. Um, Alex uh, loves the sp uh, sparkle pens as well. Lots of you already got them. A lot of you going for them. A lot of you saying that you've got them, but you're going to go for the bumper pack today. Uh, because you've got a few but you really love them so you're getting involved uh, Stan saying lamb dinner and lots of hot cross buns in their house as well uh, and also uh, Sean says uh, he's loving all of the inspiration and the education uh, we've already started to get pictures in as well so do you want to see some I absolutely want to see some who have we got on the pictures today 
so this is Meryl who's colouring in with her mum. She's got uh, that um, <gasps> wonderful... Pencils from last week as well. Yeah, the download from uh, our social media for our, um, our um, NHS staff and uh, all of our uh, hospital staff as well. So you can go to Crafters TV and download that. You'll find it maybe, I think it went up last Friday. Just scroll back and you'll find it. You can colour that in, there's a little rainbow on there as well. So there's loads that you're able to Absolutely. do. Absolutely love that. Oh, Any look. more? Look what happened there. Oh. I liked that. You missed it, Sarah. I missed it. What happened? Do you want to see it again? Look. No. I was in a frame. You oh, were in like I a little egg. Well, I looked like a little Easter egg, did I? You did, yeah. <laughs> good enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm just giving you a bit of an idea of how to do this. So I'm just going to put some of the dandelion heads coming down the side and coming in there. We've got shadow stamping. So one main one, and then I'm stamping a second time. And you can see, I love, I absolutely love this stamp set. It's one of my favourite ones we've ever done. And how easy is it to do this sort of background? It's just so easy, right? Definitely make sure, if you haven't already, get your stamping platform and get your extra pieces. It's just so much easier to be able to work, you know, when you've got the right, the right tools and equipment as it, as it is, right? So let's have a look. Just going to get a couple more of these bits stamped. It's just to give you an idea. I'm not going to make full card today. I'm just going to show you techniques. So that is how you would do the whole technique of having the intense back and lifting the colour. And then just by matting and layering that onto the front of a card, you can see how you get that built up. Now that is all done with that colour pen that is in your starter kit. So you see we've got the starter kit and then we've got the complete bumper kit collection which has everything from the starter kit in it. So if you're just wanting to get going with sparkle pens, just want the starter kit, got the first three in. If you're like, oh my life, sparkle pens is where it's at. I need the big bumper collection. Then you've got everything you need in there. Joel, walk you through that. I'll get ready for the next demo. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, so many of you commenting along. Keep getting uh, the uh, comments in. Uh, we've got Claire Brumby says, uh, my tri-blends are the best pens ever, really helping me make things look really fantastic. A lot of people saying how gorgeous they are. Diana has got loads of rubber stamps on the way, can't wait for them to arrive. Uh, Robin's got both of those um, stamps, uh, you lucky thing you. Uh, thank you so much for the distractions with all the hectic things going on right now. It's really nice to sit and be able to watch you two. Well, it's lovely to have you sit and watch us, Nicole. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us. Um, Maxine saying hi. Uh, so. Uh, people talking about best ways to store the pens as well. We'll talk about that a little later in the show. Might be, oh, do you know what? With all the hectic stuff that's going on, do you know what I've forgotten? There's a craft fault coming up at the end of this show. How could I forget? Not any old craft fault. An Easter special triple points craft fault. And even though I'm not talking about it, you guys have found it and you are shopping ahead. So pop over to the website. The craft fault will always be within the show that it's in. So it's in this Colour Me Happy show. Go into there and all the craft fault products will be um, tagged on the website. Now, I need to share with you something else that you've already found and you're loving because a lot of you, I think the reason you're going for this is this one just here. Now this is the clear overlay and this means basically that you can add sparkle to pretty much anything. It's clear so it means all it adds is the sparkle element from your sparkle pen so it's always very popular. Now $25.98 gets you uh, this bundle just here. Um, you're also going to get included in there the metallics too. So in the metallics you're going to get the onyx black, the sterling silver and the spun gold and then you're also going to get the perfect pastels now these are not in the other bundles either the discovery bundle or the bumper bundle so it's a good addition as well in here you've got moonstone you've got cosmos and you've got rose quartz in this one as well so make sure you grab those right i think it's time should we pick another winner? i mean we're flying through these winners aren't we uh, so make sure you get those in your basket now let's go. Talking about getting things in your basket, I'm going to my basket. I'm going to have a good old rummage in here. And now I'm going to go for, let's go for Crafter's Companion Purple. I think that one uh, will be fitting. So this one is going to go to, let me just check the name, Sarah Offerman. Uh, you're watching us at the moment on the Crafter's TV Facebook page. So you are the winner and you are going to win. But up. 
You've won ten pounds uh, or ten dollars of crest. So Sarah Offerman, uh, you need to email prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Details are on the bottom of your screen. Uh, so make sure you email and claim that ten pound or ten dollar spend. Uh, now, um, very very busy. Uh, don't forget you can download a lot of the imagery uh, that Sarah is using on our website. You need to go to the website Crafters Companion. Dot co, uh, dot co uk and go to uh, forward slash colour me happy. The details are along the bottom of your screen just here on how you can get hold of, hold of that. Uh, make sure you download it. It's completely free to download. Um, so definitely grab it. Just make sure you've got some nice paper uh, to print it out onto. And I'll be able to furnish you with some of that a little bit later in this show. What I really want to share with you is the details of the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen Starter Collection. Uh, you've got an incredible deal on this, £25 or $33. Now, it's a sparkle pen uh, starter collection, so you're going to need some sparkle pens. In here, we're going to include for you Aquamarine, Amethyst, and also Pink Garnet as well. So you've got those included. You're going to need something to colour onto. So what we've done is we've included the Spectrum Noir watercolour pad. Now within here, you've got 20 sheets. So that's going to keep you going for a good while. Now as well as this, you've got a couple of extra additions. So a lot of you maybe already have stamps. We're going to pop a stamp in there to get you started. And this unicorn one lends itself so beautifully to all the magical sparkles you've got in your sparkle pens and then we're going to give you a finesse waterproof ink pad as well in the pebble gray now you get all of that for 25 pounds or 33 dollars so it really is an incredible deal now a lot of you i know may be thinking well i love that but I would like even more. So we've got even more for you. We've got a bumper pack and it's gonna be exactly the same as what I've just shown you here, but we're gonna give you six additional packs of pens. So we're gonna give you the vintage tones. You've also got autumn, winter in here. There is a uh, spring, summer. You've got floral garden. There is nature trail and also a uh, coastal cottage now that if you're going for the discovery collection if you go for the bumper kit it's an extra 75 pounds however it's an extra 150 pounds worth of value so definitely the best value is in this larger collection now sarah is standing by she's on hand to take you through all the wonderful things you're going to be able to do with these sparkle pens well, what I want to do first of all, Joe, is just take you right back to basics and show you how to prime the pen. So if this is the first time you're getting one of our sparkle pens, it's going to come and can you see it's got this little um, like yellow bit on it. That's because what we've done is, I'll just lift it off first. You've got the mixing chamber. You've got the chamber that holds all of the ink and this comes basically already sealed so that none of the ink will evaporate, will disappear, will go anywhere while they're in transit. So what happens is when you first get it, you're going to take that little ring off and you're going to squeeze the top of the pen onto the base. Then give it a bit of a shake. So you shake it to wake it. You can hear them little ball bearings. Can you hear them? Put them up against my bike. Hear them little ball bearings whizzing around, okay? When you've done that, oh, can you see it's already got it going? You've got a push button here but the ink has already started flowing through that chamber into the nib of the pen. So give it a little push to get some ink coming down, break the seal on the nib, and then look at that gorgeous, look at the gorgeous ink. And it's nice because, because it's a brush nib, you can do very fine or you can do very wide pieces, right? Do little flicking techniques. There's so many, so many things you can do the nib of these pens are off the chart amazing now in that starter pack you get three shades so you get the blue the purple and the pink right so this is the three shades here i know you see them on the top of the pens but it's nice to see them actually colored out in real life now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to do this card here Okay, so that unicorn is also in your starter kit. It's a fantastic technique, this. The unicorn is coming, John. It's like a full stamp set. So again, for anybody who's completely new to our stamps, these are unmounted rubber stamps. So what you're getting is, you're getting loads of different stamps on here. 
and the unicorn all you're going to do is we're going to cut around it so cut relatively close not too near if you look i'm not being overly precise with these jaw but i'm getting kind of a good starting point on here right so you're cutting in the correct technique if i tell you exactly is that you should angle your scissors inwards a little bit right so that you don't uh, you don't cut the the rubber too close to the edge so quite close but not too close so maybe it's about an eighth of an inch uh, at, at, as, as a minimum cut around the unicorn head and if you look at this you've got lots of other stamps on this set so in each collection you can see here we've got a couple of the silhouette unicorns the big one that we're going to work with some gorgeous butterflies and believe in the magic one of a kind okay so i'm going to put these to one side and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just make this sticky i do it without stick and spray right stick and spray is a repositionable adhesive so what it means is i can give this a bit of a spray on the back that then becomes sticky and it means that i can put this onto anything that i want to stamp with and actually what i'm going to do is use one of our stamping platforms now you can stamp with absolutely anything you want right i just like i find the stamping platform quite easy to do and we're going to pop this down and i'm going to get some watercolor card again watercolor card is in that set i want you to have the best results so i'm giving you the best inks i'm giving you the best pens i'm giving you the best paper and i'm giving you some beautiful stamps everything you need to get started right now watch what we're going to do we're going to take those pens right and we're going to just color in our stamp so i'm going to start coloring up the nose just like you would if this was an ink pad right little bit of color onto the base here i'm going to go purple into the blues and you just it, it's like you're just stamping with, with ink that's the, that, that's the best way i can describe it okay putting plenty of ink on here and you can even mix those colors so i'm going to mix the blue into a little bit of pink here i'm going to mix the pink out into the purple and you've got all of this beautiful ink on there all right let's just get a bit of extra purple coming around the edges here and it just makes our blue if i do the blue over the purple it's going to make my blue a little bit a little bit brighter now it looks like a bit of a mess at the moment and by the way that what you can do with these is while you've got different colors so can you see i'd, I'd essentially got a bit of bit of purple onto my blue just squeeze it through so that it's all now cleared right through so you don't get contamination of colors now just the the best tip i can give you is just pick it up and breathe onto it a little bit right and it just kind of ignites that color ready to go so i'm going to stamp my unicorn into the middle of the card all right there it is now you could leave it and it would look wonderful right or what we can do is while it's wet you can either use a clear sparkle pen or just a brush with a little bit of water right and we can just start and drag out a little bit of this color right so the fact that i've waited for it to dry a little bit means that you do get you're still going to get the detail coming through here so i don't want to lose the detail notice i just keep pulling the water off the tip here don't want to lose the detail that we've stamped in here but i do want to just get a bit of kind of blending of colors i don't want just the um just the inked image i want a little bit coming around the back doesn't that look absolutely amazing right so we've got that little bit of color going a little bit more water on here and like i said it's up to you if you want to do it with the um if you want to do it with a clear sparkle pen or if you want to do it with a little bit of um with a little bit of water on a brush like i'm doing here okay and all you're doing is literally just softening all those shades and colors how incredibly easy is this to do anybody could do this and it looks so incredibly artistic right you can always go back in at any point re-wet rework that imagery to get this just exactly as you want it so there's my horse coming down the base with a beautiful mane that i think looks so incredibly artistic and the one that i'd finished so a little bit more blue on this one all i've done to get those little flecks around the outside okay this is our one here is you can just take one of your colors so your blue and you can literally just fleck the color straight from the pen can you see 
straight from the pen all over the background and you get that lovely explosion of colour. Again, this is where we've left that to dry and you can see that absolutely gorgeous effect. Love it. Now, that is one technique. Let me show you another one. In fact, I've just got loads to show you. I want to show you this one. Oh, how gorgeous is that? Now, I'll just get myself another sheet of card, Joe. Why don't you pick us another winner? Uh, pick us another egg out while I start getting the next stamp out ready. Oh, OK. I've been late. I've been keeping them warm. I've been sat on them, but they're depleting. I haven't got that many left in here, so you better get your comments in quickly. Uh, loads of you are saying, June, my favourite comment of the day so far. She says, no yolk. Joe is giving away excellent prizes. <laughs> hey. Love it, June. Absolutely love it. Right, let me go over here and have a look who our next winner is going to be. So our next winner is going to be Kerry Russell, uh, who is watching us on the Crafters TV Facebook page. So Kerry, you'll need to get your email in. Right, I've got four eggs. So I've got a yellow one, a pink one, a blue one, and a green one. Right. Let's go for, seeing as it's Kerry, let's go for a nice pink one. Are you ready, Kerry? Right. Oh, let me crack this open. Oh, Kerry, what have you won? You have won 10 pounds or $10. Woo woo. Uh, make sure you uh, email us prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Lots of people saying they're liking my clucking uh, this morning. Uh, so uh, thanks for that. Um, also, loads of you questions is coming in as well uh, from lots of you. Always great, get, great to get your questions in and we will um, pop them to uh, Sarah. So I've got a little page of questions building over here. In the second uh, hour, uh, what we'll do is I will pop them across uh, to Sarah. Um, lots of you talking about how much chocolate uh, and roast lamb and hot cross buns you're going to have this weekend. Uh, lots of you will be having fish today as well. Oh, I'm having fish. Oh, what sort of fish are you having? Fish for tea. We're having a bit of cod. Oh. A bit of cod for tea. Nice. Are you having it uh, deep fried or are you going to have it uh, pan fried or grilled? I don't know. I just got the cod. Okay. I, I haven't thought that far ahead, but chores to do first. <laughs> uh, absolutely, uh, we do. Right, I'm going to hand you back uh, to Sarah because I know that she's got so many uh, demonstrations she wants to squeeze in in the next sort of hour and 10 minutes. So it's going to be action packed. Stay tuned. A lot of you are saying there's so much in the show today, you're struggling to colour and watch at the same time. You can always watch us back, so don't you worry about that. So I did say I was going to show you how to do this beautiful butterfly, right? It's a it's a, a different but similar technique to the one that we've just looked at with the beautiful unicorn. Now I'm going to use this stamp set. This stamp set is in our collection of stamps and dies that go with this. I'll get the details up on the screen for you. We've basically tried to put together a collection of all different uh, stamps and stencils that I'm going to be using on the show for all of my demos. Now, if I get this open, this is an acrylic stamp, so different to the last one with the rubber, but still works in the same way. And it's a beautiful photopolymer stamp, one of my favourite stamps that we do this one, one of my absolute favourites, right? So, here we go, I'm going to pop this onto the stamping platform. And we're going to do exactly the same as what we just did with the unicorn, okay? So we're going to start, we're going to do a little bit of blue around the outsides. We're going to blend the blue into a little bit of purple. Uh, here we go. Blue blends into purple. And then the purple's going to blend into the pink. I will tell you, this technique will work best with rubber stamps or with your, um, or with your photopolymer. Right? Then, remember the little huffing technique I showed you? <sighs> right? We're going to stamp it just in the middle of our card here. Right? Then while it's still wet, you're going to bring in your spritzer. And we're going to spritz. Oh, I love this technique. We're going to spritz and get all the colours moving. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? Now, I'm going to speed this up, okay? just with a little bit of my heat gun. Now, what you'll find is, this is it doesn't quite look quite as good when you, um, when you heat gun it, but I do want to show you this technique um, so, that you can, so that you can see. But you can see all these colours, can you see? Just kind of, this is the problem, I've got it so wet 
that all the colours are blending together. You'll just get a bit, we'll pick up some of these, right? Just to, just to speed up that drying, you're going to be able to see how this technique works. Now, actually, that piece that we've just done, there, there'll still be a little bit of ink on that stamp. So let me show you how you could use that. Here we go, that's, that's looking about dry there, right? If I just bring another piece of uh, watercolour card in, no, it's not my watercolour card. You must use watercolour for these techniques, so you want, you want the best result, okay? So if I just do the same again, I'll probably get another stamp out of this. So I'm just going to spritz it to reignite that colour, right? Not too much. And then we're going to stamp it up here. And we'll probably get another one down here. Can you see it's just not quite as clear because we've uh, we've wet it a bit more. But still going to look great, right? And then again, you're just going to give it another bit of a spritz. Get it all moving. And then spritz with these ones to get them all moving, right? And I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to just let them dry. And then I'm going to show you the next part of the technique. So this is how you do the... It's like a... Um, I like to think of this as a bit of like a, an ethereal, right? And like a nice ethereal feel to it. So if I just take off the excess water there. If you're doing this at home, my recommendation would be don't artificially speed it along, okay? Let it take its time to do all of the drying. You will reap the benefits of like a nicer finish on the end. And remember, because these have got the sparkle in, you're going to get that lovely, intensive sparkle finish and it's going to be, this one here, because it's a little bit wetter, it's going to be quite subtle when it's finished, okay? Whereas this one up here, and actually the first one that we did, there it is, you can see how much more intensive that colour is, and how the longer it kind of goes, the more stamps we get out of it, the more you lose, you get that more ethereal feel to them. Now, if I bring my stamp back in, just give it a little bit of a clean up, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp over it with a black ink, all right? Now, when you're stamping with, with uh, black ink, you want to make sure that what you do is you use the water resistant or the waterproof, right? So waterproof dye. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, ink over the stamp and then you want to get this lined up exactly over the top of the one that we stamped. So you're going to, you're going to get the hair... It's coming in, yeah, it's coming in. So we're going to get this over the top, stamp it down, and you get that butterfly over the top, okay? So it's still, still a little bit wet. Ideally, you want to leave it. I'm going to give it a little bit time, a little bit more drying time. If it is nice and dry, you'll get a really crisp, clear image, all right? So let's try that one again. If I put a little bit of black, oh, and we haven't got the lid on the ink pad, Sarah. A uh, little bit of ink onto here, and we're just stamping back over it. Like I said, this collage set of stamps, they're photopolymer. So you're going to get that lovely, crisp, stamped image. Oh, I love them. Love them. So you get the outline of the butterfly. Let's do it on our last one. Uh, you've actually, you can see quite a lot of the intensive sparkle on this one. So I think this one's going to work an absolute treat. And then these, because they're quite artistic... It's a whole card in and of itself, this one. It's a whole card ready to go. So stamp this down. And there's our beautiful butterfly ready to go. And you see, all I've done on the finished one is a tiny bit of matting and layering, right? We've got that lovely ethereal feel coming off the side. Matting and layering onto the card and then a, a little sentiment on the bottom. And it's good to go. Such an easy card. These these pens are so easy to work with, but look fabulous. Isn't that right, Joe? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, loads of you loving for them. Lo uh, loads of you going uh, for these. Uh, it's a really comprehensive collection as well. I'll just run you through again what you're getting. So you're getting these lovely rubber stamps. You're going to get Make a Wish, which is this beautiful one here. You've got Floral Delight with that gorgeous poppy detail there in the centre. The Paisley Peacock, which you're going to love colouring up with all of those sparkly inks. Uh, then we've got some stencils for you as well. Not any old stencils. These are the layering stencils. So you can go through with different colours, layering it up, really building up uh, the ink here and getting something quite fabulous. And then you've also got uh, the Let Your Spirits Soar 
um, photopolymer stamps in there as well. £16 if you're in the UK, £21.50 if you're in the US. That is a half price deal. Now, loads of you commenting along. I've got to do some questions, Sarah. Go on, I'm ready uh, to answer any questions. Right, I've sure. written some down here. Um, best carry bag for the sparkle pens, like Travelly one, are Stacy. Um, is it the standard size or would it be the tri blend size? Well, so here's the thing they will fit into both. So the best, best size is, the, um, is if you want to go for the standard Spectrum Noir carry case. Okay. However, Try blend one on a great deal at the moment. Mm. So actually, I would get on there. So the try blend one was on our cart load last night at half price. So if I was you, I would just go and get the try blend one. You can get plenty of pens in it, and it's half price at the moment. Well, that's so great. I would definitely jump in there and get that one. Great shout there. Kay has asked, has anyone come up with something we can craft yet for the little bits that we take off when we prime the sparkle pens? She's desperate. She's kept them all. And she wants to make something out of them. What a great idea. What could you possibly make? If you can think of anything, I am all ears. Absolutely. I am all, oh, I've lost my bunny head. Uh, if you can think of something, I'm all ears. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Linda's asking as well, what's the difference uh, between the, the pots of Sparkle Ink and the Sparkle Pen, Sarah? Nothing at all. It's exactly the same stuff. So these are obviously in a controlled medium. They're in a pen form. The spot, pots of Sparkle Ink, we brought the pots of Sparkle Ink out as, in response to how much you were using the ink. So those of you who are literally heavy users of, of sparkling, I would absolutely recommend go and get the pots and you basically get 30 mil in each pot. So it's about six times the size of a pen. Okie doke. Uh, that's always good to know. Pam says as well, how careful do we have to be with clothes and stuff? Uh, will it wash out the sparklings or do we need to be careful? Got to be really careful. Okay. I've been a little bit worried with my bunny outfit on today, let's just say. And, and it will come off your hands, but it probably be not until after I've washed my hair in the shower tomorrow morning and I've really got it all cleaned out. Well, if you are in the US and you need to be super careful, there could be some kind of fabulous maybe protective garment coming up uh, oh, in the HSM preview a little bit later. Be, they might be. Those mm. of you watching us in the US, you've got to stay tuned because we've got a big HSN show next week. We're doing a preview in a few hours this afternoon. Yes, we are. And there may be something that you could avail of in there. Loads of you uh, uh, buying, telling you what you're uh, ordering. Oh, Carol, one of my uh, favourite comments says, I am the encyclopedia of knowledge today, uh, which really did make me laugh. Uh, remember, it's triple points across the website and across everything we bring you here at Crafters TV from now right up until the end of Monday. So there's no better time uh, to join the club. Here with all the details is Sarah. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. 
are there all the details of course of uh, club inspire which is a fabulous place to be loads of you commenting along uh, so many of you talking about things like your easter traditions as well uh laura saying she was admiring my deep squat at the start of the show uh debbie um saying uh, love you guys you bring a smile to us um miriam saying did you just lay an egg or is that the way you're standing <laughs> uh, which we love now shall i just give you a recap of everything you've seen so far because we're having a very very busy show now we've got the starter kit for you so in here what you're getting is three uh three of the spectrum Noir sparkle pens you're gonna get the aquamarine the amethyst and the pink garnet included in there you're getting the watercolor card you're getting a stamp and you're getting an ink pad so that's pretty much everything you need to get you started with this technique 25 pounds if you're in the uk or 33 dollars now the stamps and stencils that you just saw sarah talking about a few minutes ago very very busy on these as we knew they would be three rubber stamps in here you've got the photopolymer stamp and you've got the layering stamp that's a half price deal on that one you're actually saving more more than you are spending which is fantastic uh, now the three pack in the three pack is is uh, you're not getting any of these pens in either the starter kit or the bumper kit so it's a great addition or maybe you've got everything else you just want to go for these on their own this is where you'll find that clear overlay uh, as well as getting the clear overlay you're going to get the metallics and the perfect pastels within there as well over 30 percent off for you 25.98 or 33.90 now the bumper kit so everything that you saw in the starter collection but then six extra packs of pens within here as well so just to let you know which ones they are you've got the six additional six packs are spring summer autumn winter vintage tones coastal cottage nature trail and floral garden uh, so uh, great value uh, the starter kit was 25 pounds so for an extra 75 pounds we give you 150 pounds worth of extra value so definitely that is if you want the best value that is the one to go for in this show now the blending collection, this is fantastic. Really busy here, you've got the brayer, you've got the mat, which is great, so it's gonna save your work surfaces. So you've got the rectangle and the round blending tools with the refills. You've got the blending eggs, the spritzers, and also the palette. So it's a really comprehensive collection, that one for 30 pounds or 40 dollars now there's been so much going on uh, you know i say i'll keep you uh, i'll keep you informed about what's going on there's so much going on at the start of the show and we've been so busy that i haven't given you any updates on where we're at with the stock now the starter collection which is this one just here that we went through uh, almost a third of the stock of the starter collection has gone already we're one hour into this show and bearing in mind most of uh, you know half of our viewers are in the united states and most of you haven't even woken up yet over there so it's going to be very very busy and a lot of you watch us back after the show so to be almost a third gone is very very busy however of the bumper collection over 40 percent of the stock has now gone so it lets you know just how busy we are so many of you going for these uh this morning so it is very very busy oh another winner uh let's go for i believe did i say christine jones is going to be our next winner oh my eggs are depleting now uh let's go for the green one uh and christine jones is going to be our winner now christine you have won should we take a look Ten pounds or ten dollars! Yay! Congratulations! Uh, drop us an email: prizes at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, sorry, dot com, uh, and we will get that uh, sorted out for you. We'll get you a code uh, in an email so you can. Um, can get that spent which is lovely which is what you want to do isn't it let's face it debbie saying happy easter to everyone uh carol saying good morning crafters um sonia is at the ready with her sparkle pens and her tri blends both prime michelle is watching us from turkey so hello that's a new one i know we've had viewers in recent weeks from australia new zealand south Af south africa canada of course as well but loads of you um are um really enjoying the show uh shell saying all of her credit card uh dies have just arrived and she's having loads of fun uh crafting along so keep getting your comments in we're going to be keep picking more winners i've got a couple more winners left uh, before the end of the show so get those comments in but for now i'm going to hand you back to sarah Yes, I've got loads more techniques to show you. So I was thinking, should we start and use some of them pens from the big bumper collections? Now, I've actually got 
when I just sat and primed them off, I primed a whole new set this morning ready to use. Uh, I've just scribbled them down as we've been going. So each one of these sets, let's have a look. I'll see if I can cross-reference which set of pens it is. So that looks to be this one here. So this is your spring summer, okay? But you can see how all those colours work beautifully well together. Same with the next one. This is autumn, winter. You can see how those shades and tones would all work really, really well together, all right? As you move through it though, if you're wanting to pick colours that go together and work together, please try and always pick ones from the same colour families, right? From the same colour sets. They've been curated especially, and here's the last one which is like your shades there, they've been curated especially to work together. So for example, if you want to use a purple with a pink, use these two shades from this set or use these two shades from this set, right? What you wouldn't do is use this purple with this pink, right? I'm pointing down here, this purple with this pink, or this purple with this pink. These two have the right kind of undertones of colour to work together. These two in this colour family are all going to work together beautifully well, okay? So that's just a little tip on how we've put the colours together for you. Now, what I'm going to do is, which set do I think would look really nice to make? Some nice, bright, blended colour. I think this set would look really nice. So we've got, I believe, oh, I don't know if I put you all in order. Oh, uh, now I did have them organised <laughs> in sets, but then I've got a random brown and a green here, which suggests to me that the, there's no brown set with a pink in, is there not? Oh, my life, I've been putting them back in the wrong shades. Right, we'll go with this set here then, because I know all these are from the same colour family. These are the spring summer ones, right? So do keep them. I've, I've got mine organised in my little uh, set there. Do keep them together. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some of these, right, and just blob down some bits of colour, right? So we've got a bit of blue, I'm going to go into the red, and if you're blobbing them down next to each other, make sure you put colours that are going to work together, right? So blue and red, brilliant, make purple. Don't be putting random colours that aren't going to work together, because they are going to blend into each other. Bit of green in here, and you don't, depending on which colour you want to be the most intensive, that's the one you want to put more of down there. And notice what I'm doing is, I'm giving it a little bit of a squeeze so that we're getting plenty of ink coming out, but not too much of a squeeze, right? Because we don't want to be inundated with ink, right? We just want a bit coming out. So there's my yellow. And actually, I think I might put a bit of coral in, but I think I'll, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, because that's a slightly more muted tone one, right? So I'm going to get all these colours. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure they're all blended together. So what you're going to, in fact, a little bit of a tip here, get yourself some uh, tape and tape this down so that it stays nice and flat. So that's what, because otherwise what happens is it bubbles up, right? There you go, you stick down there. I'll tape you down as, as flat as I can get you, because obviously I'm going to try and artificially uh, speed up this drying. So if I spray this together, can you see it gets all those colours blending together so you want to spray it now you could leave it like that right and it will dry like that and give you that all over lovely background or at this stage i'll just push this up so that you can see it all in front of you right or at this stage here you could bring in some sea salt now the sea salt gives you this a completely different look in the background so if i drop this over the salt it's going to pick up all of the colour. So, it's, sorry, it's not going to pick up the colour, it's going to pick up all of the, the ink, the, the moisture in the card here. So, it's just going to pick it all up and you're going to get this lovely coloured salt at the end of it as well, which, was, which is brilliant if you're wanting to do some, um, let's just pick up some extra pieces here. So, the salt's great if you're wanting to use that uh, in a shaker card afterwards little bit more it's not expensive the sea salt you can um, I'm sure most of you'll have some around the house yeah, great technique to try uh, yep asked, does it have to be watercolor card that we use or can we use other card stocks too you can but what the difference is okay see I put that color down there and then I spritzed it and it started moving same when we did the butterflies and it started moving if you use it onto a different type of card what will happen is the watercolour, it'll, it'll soak in a lot quicker. So it'll soak in and dry. And once it's into that card, 
to like soak down into the fibres, it's not going to move. The watercolour card has the finish whereby it doesn't soak into the card, it kind of sits on, which means you can move it around and blend. So yes, you can do this on any type of card, but if you want the kind of best, if you want these sort of artistic effects, the watercolour card makes all the difference. Fantastic, always good to know. I'm going to take this, John, I'm just going to move it onto the back and hope that it dries. I mean, I'm blowing salt all over isn't really a good idea. I'm going to just try and give it a bit of an artificial dry and then also move it to the back so that it can hopefully dry before the end of the show and I can show you what it's going to look like. Oh, fabulous. Can't wait to see that. Uh, Kay says, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Uh, Lynn says she loves my chicken noises. There's another one for you, Lynn. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rosalind says, I'm listening with my headphones on and that chicken cluck was hilarious, Joe. Uh, Joe, your chicken impression is so good. I feel like there's a new calling for me as a chicken impersonator, don't you? <laughs> is there such thing as a chicken impersonator? I don't know. Uh, Sarah saying, uh, you're so realistic as a chicken. Liz saying, lol, the best chicken impression, Joe. <laughs> there's literally so many... <laughs> so many comments about the chicken impression. Uh, only, of course, clips by the amount of you uh, are talking about how much you love the sparkle pens in uh, this uh, uh, in the comments. Joe is making us want uh, eggs for lunch. Is another comment I'm getting here. Uh, Diane saying she's a bit lazy when it comes to the uh, the preparation or the organise. Says all the pens are just in one big container. I just go for it. Uh, so I guess uh, you can do that if you want to. Um, Sandra saying uh, that they're all having a good laugh this morning, which is what it's all about, us brightening your day uh, with colouring and also with a good laugh. Um, also, we've had more pictures in, which is fabulous. This one's from Catherine. Uh, oh, that looks beautiful. Uh, she's Ooh, been using those sparkles. She's using the there. sparkles. Uh, they look wonderful. Remember, two different ways of getting hold of the sparkle pens. You can go for that starter kit, which gets you the stamp, three of the pens, the watercolour, uh, and also card, and the ink pad. Or go for the bumper kit, where you get an extra 36 sparkle pens as well. So you're going to get 39 sparkle pens in that biggest kit, which is an awful lot to get you started for such a great friend. And what a great time to do it whilst you've got triple points. So you will get, let's see how good my maths are here, 405 points uh, if you're in the US, uh, because we've, of course, got that um, triple, uh, the triple points. Uh, the stencils and stamps, very busy. Uh, as well. Let me just show you those. Uh, so what you're going to get in this collection, of course, is the three rubber stamps. <coughs> so in here you have got Make-A-Wish, you also have uh, Floral Delight, and you've got, uh, un um, this one is Daisy, uh, Paisley Peacock, Daisy Peacock. <laughs> Sounds like someone's name, doesn't it? You've then got, of course, the layering stencils. Now, these are great. Butterflies, of course, always so popular uh, whenever we bring them to you. Uh, so those are in there. You can layer them up. So you can use them as individual stencils. But when you use them all together, you get a really impressive effect. And then you've also got our photo polymer stamp. Let your spirit soar. This is a half price deal, guys. You're saving more than you're spending uh, on this one. £16 or $21.50, and not only are you getting half price deals, you're getting triple points. Also, where are you in Club Inspire? Maybe you're gonna get another 10, 15% off of these prices. You're way over um, uh, half, you're, what, you're saving way more uh, than you're spending. Uh, Carol saying, maybe I need to be the face of that well-known chicken fast food outlet. Maybe <coughs> that could be my, uh, my uh, calling. Uh, Dawn saying, Crafts TV, just brilliant. Don't get any jobs done, but who's bothered? Uh, it's Easter and uh, Nicole saying all the deals amazing uh, Robin saying why did the chicken cross the road <coughs> to get to see the bunny to get to crafters companion oh, <laughs> but I'm bum. I thought I was in a barnyard says uh, Marcia uh, and also um, oh, Maxine asking again how you send in your pictures uh, you can do that by emailing us and it's studio at crafters companion dot co dot uk details are here along the bottom of the screen for you email us in uh, your pictures we love uh, seeing them all so uh, keep commenting along we've got a couple more eggs to do before the end of the show uh, so we'll get them in one of them I know has got a lot of money in it so uh, make sure you get commenting and we'll pick those winners uh, at random you need 
uh, need to comment along on our Crafters TV Facebook page, the feed there, or over on our YouTube channel. So it's up to you. Just make sure you get your entries in uh, and we'll pick another one. Should we do another one in the next, say, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, uh, sounds I'll do like another bit of idea. a demo and then you can do another one, Joe. Fabulous, right. Let's uh, hand back to Sarah and then she's gonna treat us to another demonstration. What I would say as well, guys, if you're watching the show and you love what we do and you have other friends on Facebook who you think would also love this, if you share our feed, the Crafter TV feed, they'll get to see it as well. And then hopefully we'll just in keep increasing our big family. And that's, do you know what? It's really heartwarming for us when we read about kind of how much you're all enjoying the shows. And that's, that, that is what's keeping us going at the moment, right? Now... Can you see what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you this is the background effect that we've just done with the salt right now this isn't the one I've just created but this is how it's going to look this is the seahorse stamped and spritz like I showed you earlier this is that effect that we're going to get can you see it's like a little bit mottled in the background so I'm going to show you that when ours dries a little bit later I'm going to give it another half an hour or so and then we'll rub the salt away and see what sort of effect we get on the background if it's dry enough by then okay now what I thought we'd do Try another background technique. So I'm going to go back, let's have a look. I'm going to use some of my nice vintage tones here. So remember what I said about choosing all the colours from within the same family. These are the nice muted vintage shades. So I'm going to pick the uh, purple. I'm going to pick the pink out of here. And I'm going to pick the bright pink out of here as well, right? So we've got these three shades. Oh, I quite like the green as well. Should we get the green in there? Should we swap out the green for the pink? Should we have these three shades here? Yeah, maybe it's a bit of a... Look at this, dude. This is the problem, you see. I can't make my mind up. <laughs> right, and should we splodge or should we brush? Let's go back to brushing, yeah? I like, I like, I like a bit of... Do you want, do you want, you want a bit of splodging? Well, I'm definitely a splodger, not a Come brusher. On. I mean, if How you've about... met me, you'll know I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm pink splodger. How about we do both, Fabulous. right? How about we do both and then you can pick which one you like the most, Joe? Okay. And we'll use that one for the rest of the card, okay? Fabulous. Sounds so, great. Right. So here we go. We've just got some card put down. I'm going to I'm not going to do it all over. I'm just going to do it in pieces and then we can trim it down to size, right? So, if you're just doing the mixing of the colors, I'm just going to get that first shade of purple, right? Oh, I'm splodging off the end here. I tell you what, I'm such a liability. We're going to go purple into pink. Yep. And it just blends from one into the next. The pink would go nicely into the blue. They've got fancy names as well. I'm just, yeah, I'm just keep calling them pink and blue and whatnot. Uh, and then I'm going to go blue. Uh, is this going to be wide enough for my the technique that I'm going to do? Hopefully, right? And then I'm going to go blue into the green. And you can see that top one's already starting to, um, to blend, uh, to dry, sorry. So you're getting those lovely shades and just by going over it i'll make sure that we get um that we get that blending of color so i'm going to blend again the green into the blue and then i'm going to blend my pink ones right out to the edge just so we've got a nice big background so that is the um that's like a background effect that's just if you do it as a as a straightforward wash here all right and then I'm going to show you next if you want to do it as a splodged one. If you want to just mix those colours a little bit more, right? Just take your brush, not too wet, and just where the two match, go over them like that. And you get that lovely shading of colour, right? Then I'm going to go the pink into the blue and the blue into the green. Look, look at what a difference it's made there. Got that lovely blending of colours, right? So put that to one side. Let's just let that dry on the back here. That is the... Um, that is the like the the easy starter point, right? You wanted to do the uh, the splodging jaw, right? So for the splodging, I'm just going to get my just like we did before colours. Yep, so I'm just splodging them down. No special effect to how you do these, right? And I'm going to put that and the pink ones in as well, and they'll obviously all blend in together. And we want a nice deep shade for this one, for the technique I'm going to show you. I'm trying really hard not to splodge my bunny costume, uh, but I think I am maybe splodging my bunny costume a little bit. So just being really careful, because uh, that is the only thing with the sparkle pens is they're really intense 
which means they will, um, you don't want to be getting them into your, you don't want to be getting them on your clothes. Someone's saying, not only are you a yummy mummy, you're a bunny mummy now as well. <laughs> <laughs> also, Michael said that the clock behind me over here has been stuck at 7.50 all day. Good spot, Michael. And he says, that's brilliant because it means more time for crafting. I can craft all day Yay. today. <laughs> Love it. Right. So there's our splodged one, right? And I'm just going to, again, take that brush and just make sure that any of those little gaps in the middle are all going to have colour in them so that we don't have any, any kind of gaps here because we want an all-over background for the next technique that I'm going to show you. Now, the next technique I'm going to do, Joe, I'm going to use that stencil in the starter collection that we've got. Not the starter collection, so yeah, the collection that where I'm using everything okay, that no. we've got uh, on the show. So if you were wondering what we're going to do with the stencil, why she asked for stencil in the set, wait till you see this. Okay, no. Hannah this is watching along. She says it's wonderful. It's like having our own personal crafty Sarah in our living room. Um, Gail saying we do egg hunt for kids, but our eggs are filled like Joe's uh, with slips of paper uh, with uh, ten five dollar bills in them. That sounds like an egg hunt I want to wow. be involved in. I hope my kids when aren't I, watching and hearing When I was that. a kid, my brother always used to say like, "Oh no, I don't want an Easter egg this year. Can you just get me like a PlayStation Four or something like that?" He would always say like, "No, I don't want an Easter egg, but can I have?" this huge elaborate gift please instead i think you'd kind of missed the point don't you <laughs> you're, you're either that or he's a smart kid yeah we just got he always got an egg to be fair <laughs> and i always got the biggest egg in the end so maybe it didn't pay off how many eggs did your boys get last year is there like a cap or a limit or do you just let them go for it at easter no so in our place we don't uh, uh, they, they, they got i would say five or six do you know what oh, i like that's now a is? good that's a good amount of eggs you get you can get the little ones now that are only like a pound or something they're yeah. not expensive and there's not that much chocolate in them so i don't mind you know cause you know what it's like if we would ever go and visit people around easter time we would always turn up with a with an easter yeah. egg you just would wouldn't you yeah absolutely. whereas i think you, instead of bringing like four or five pounds worth of chocolate and it'd be just being ridiculous mm. you can just bring a little bit it's a talking gesture, but you're not worried about... I mean, I remember as a kid once, having 12 Easter eggs once, and oh. I tried to eat them all in one day. Winning. And do you know, my mum gave it to you. She let me do it because she knew I'd never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and she's right. I've never done it again. I felt that sick, right? Sarah, the Easter egg you bought me is the first Easter egg I've had for, I think, three or four years. Oh. So I know, and I'm going to buy my... I usually think it's a bit sad to buy yourself one, but I'm definitely buying myself <laughs> one this year. <laughs> And I'm going to get the biggest one when I go to the supermarket tomorrow. And I'm going to get a four pack of hot cross buns and some salted butter as well. And that is my Easter weekend oh, set to go. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, cross buns. Oh, and I like that. I like to put mine in the microwave a couple of seconds. In the microwave? Yeah, about 10 seconds. Do you not toast them? No, 10 seconds just warms them up. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not, not Maybe I'll, warmed. I'll put one in the toaster, one in the microwave, one under the grill and one in the oven. I'll let you know which one's best. Let me know which one <laughs> tastes best. <laughs> right, are you ready for me to show you this technique, okay? Yes. Now, I picked this stencil because I thought this would work an absolute treat. It's a five by seven stencil, three stencils in the pack. So you've got a nice all over background, which would work great for the technique I'm going to show you. We've got some detail in the butterflies and we've got some open butterflies. I'm going to start with the open one. So this is the butterfly set. It's a layering stencil, but it's a different technique that you can do with the layering stencil. Now, with stencils, it, they're brilliant if you hold them in place, right? So I'm just putting a little bit of that stick away, um, stick away, stick and spray onto the back, right? So I've just sprayed lightly over the back with the spray, and it's just going to hold that stencil in place, all right? So if we put that stencil down, Joe, and I'm going to get that nicely stuck down. Then what we're going to do is the technique I showed you earlier, where we're going to lift the colour out, right? So, water on here, right? We're going to just drop the water into here. Oh, I've got it behind a little bit. Yeah, but it'll, it'll be enough to show you the idea, right? So you're just splodging down. Try not to let it go underneath the stencil, right? We're trying to pick the colour out, out of the stencil. Look how much colour I've picked out of there, right? lifting it up as we're going and you're just going to keep popping it down and lift there we're getting really nice shading i'm getting some bits of water going underneath but you're getting the idea i'm going to continue on like that joe just lifting out color 
fabulous. Now, if you want to get this uh, stencil, it's within that um, the stamp and stencil collection where you get three of the rubber stamps. You get the stencil that Sarah's using here. Great technique, this one. And you get one of our really lovely big photopolymer stamps as well. And you can get all of that half price deal, in fact, on that one. £16 if you're in the UK. 21.50 if you're in the US. So many comments coming in. I can't keep up with them. There's still so many of you. Because they uh, all want to win your egg. They do indeed, that's why. Um, oh, and because people want to chit chat with you, John. Of course they Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Uh, loads of you uh, are saying, oh, Hannah saying, we used to have an Easter egg hunt that used to take us all over the woods just to find out the eggs were at home. Well, you've got to get, got to get your step count up, haven't you, if you're going to have plenty of Easter eggs, uh, I guess. Um, Piggy Sue saying, I don't know if that's Piggy Sue. <laughs> Piggy Sue, that's obviously not Sue's real name, but that's her Facebook username. And then I've just looked and I thought, well, that's a strange name. Her profile picture is a picture of a pig. So I'm guessing she keeps pigs, uh, R. Sue. So I have some sparkle pens. We'll need to wake them up uh, from their slumber. Oh, Travelling Neils is watching us from Australia. Good wow. day, Neils. Good day, uh, down under. Uh, Don't know where that came from. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Kathy saying we're making her hungry. A happy Easter, love the show. Uh, Robin saying she always buys herself to gifts. She always say, says that her mum always made her Easter ham with brown sugar glaze and pineapple. Ooh, that sounds Ooh, lovely. That sounds absolutely wonderful. Could you use, obviously you wouldn't eat it afterwards, Sarah. Could you use the sparkle pens to glaze an egg? You know, like if you got, you know, like sometimes yeah. at school, you know, you remove the egg, blow it out. Yeah. You could use them on the shell. Could you? Yep. Oh, that sounds like a great Fine, way. They're going to all sorts. A great I mean, way. They'll wash them. off again if you wash it, but if it's just to decorate it. They'll yeah. be lovely to decorate. You should, you should have brought some in, shouldn't we? Fabulous. I was. Um, I, I meant to remind you of something. And I was having so much fun chatting in the comments. And I was meant to remind you about these, uh, and this is the uh, the three three packs that you've got here. This is the one that's got the clear overlay in it. Now these nine pens are not in uh, either the starter or the um, larger bundle, so you've definitely a great um, addition. You've got the clear overlay, very, very popular for that as always. That's gonna add sparkle to anything really, which is fantastic, without adding ink. So you've then got the black, the silver, and the spun gold, the moonstone, the cosmos, and the rose quartz. 25.98 or 33.90, very, very popular on that, which is fabulous. Now, should we do another egg, Sarah? What do you think? I think you're just going to do what you want, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Sorry, because everyone benefits. Absolutely, they do. Right, let me get me eggs. Let me fish them out from under here. Uh, that's looking fabulous, Isn't Sarah. it? Just wait till you see what I'm going to do next. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right, well, the you, next you one. You give an egg away. Right, I'll me, get ready for the next one. I've got bit. to find me list of winners that I've got on my phone here somewhere. Here we are. So we did Christine, didn't we? So Sue Thomas is gonna be our next one. I've only got two eggs left. Right, I'm gonna go for this yellow one. Now, Sue, are you ready? You are gonna win. Let me open it up, see which way it is. Oh, this is a good one. Are you ready, Sue Thomas? You want a hundred pounds? hundred in there somewhere. Uh, uh, Sue I said Thomas. Man, I said, put a hundred in. You yes. have won a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars. You need to claim it though. Congratulations, Sue. You need to claim it by going to prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Make sure you grab that a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars. What are you going to spend it on? Well, you could go for, well, you could go for this, um, you go for this whole collection if you want to. What a great way to spend a hundred pounds with us and get colouring. Uh, so congratulations uh, to Sue. Make sure you email in. Um, now, how are you getting on this, Sarah? Right, we're looking good. So I'm going to lift this stencil off, right? And we've basically got those butterflies just roughly lifted out. So they look a little bit lighter there. But then because this is a layering stencil, right? Watch, I'm going to take my next layer. I'm going to give that a bit of a spray as well. And I'm going to put my next layer over top, right? So that we can then stencil through the next layer with a little bit of ink. So I'm going to use one of our Harmony Water Reactives. And actually, do you know what I think might look nice? I think a bit of black might look nice. Have I got a black? Yes, I've got a black. So I'm going to use a bit of Noir Black. I'm going to use one of those sponge applicators, Joe. Uh, I like the round ones. Each to their own, right? I'm going to pick up the black 
and I'm just going to bring in the black into here so that we get the detail in the butterfly all right so we're going to have like the lighter butterfly with the detail in here but then with the lighter color taken from behind all make sense you could actually be shading the stencils are brilliant and i was saying this yesterday just stencils are so fun to work with and so underrated we don't do enough shows with stencils uh, i'll have to think about maybe doing a stencil master class at some point right so mm. these are my black just building up that color and then what should happen when i lift this off is oh yes yes it does you get the butterfly detail with the lighter butterfly behind. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Yet how simple was that to do, right? So let's have a look. I'm going to get it on the close-up as well. Uh, if I lift it up, can you Ooh. see that spark? Yes, look at that spark. That's amazing. Yeah, and then all you're going to do is trim that round, and that makes a wonderful front for a card. And actually, the one that I had, uh, it's a different stencil. But same sort of technique. So this wasn't a layering stencil. I thought I'd take it to the next level with my layering stencil. But this one here has been, the stencil's been put down and then just the colour picked out and then highlighted with some white pen. How easy is that? So definitely go for that extra set that's on your screen. It's got all of the stencils, all of the stamps, everything that I'm using is included. Right, I've got another demo to show you. Better get start getting ready for that, Joe. I've made an absolute mess here. Uh, no problem at all. Sandy saying she would love a masterclass on the stencils so let's do the stamp and stencils collection first actually seeing as you've just used that you're getting a really comprehensive collection so you're getting three rubber stamps first so you're going to get make a wish which is this one just here you're also going to get floral delight you're going to get paisley peacock in there too let me bring that back so you can see it there you are then you're getting that stencil that lovely layering stencil uh, that sarah has just used remember this is better than half price this deal and you're also getting uh, the uh, Let Your Spirit Soar photo polymer stamp. Now there's loads of stamps in that one, so it's really great. You've got some backgrounds, some focals, you've got some embellishments, even some sentiments in there as well. So really great um, price. I'm imagining that the, this photo polymer stamp would be about 9.99 uh, on, on its own. Um, so yeah, it is uh, fairly new. It would be 9.99 on its own. So actually, just the layering stencil and the stamp would be more than you're paying for all of it. So definitely grab it whilst it's in stock. And also remember, whilst we've got triple points across absolutely everything, not just here on Crafters TV, but on everything across the whole website. So it really is a great chance and a great time for you to get stocked up. Right, let's go through uh, the starter collection again for you. So this is a great way if you just want to dip your toe in because what you've got in here is you've got the aquamarine, the amethyst and the pink garnet uh, sparkle pen. So they're going to come included. You've got the watercolour pad to, so you've got something to colour onto. This is the perfect me, um, paper uh, for you to be colouring onto. We're also going to give you the stamp as well. So you're going to get the unicorn magic stamp and stamp that out. We're going to give you uh, the waterproof ink pad as well. So you're going to get all of that. That's a great comprehensive starter kit. Over a fifth off of that as well. So we've got a great deal there as well. But this is where most of you are going. I'm hearing that over half the stock has gone of the bumper kit. Now, you're gonna get six more um, packs of markers. So this really is, and also these are six in each of these too. So it really is great to get all these. So I'll just quickly run you through the ones that you're getting. So you're gonna get uh, spring, summer. You're also going to get uh, autumn, winter. You're gonna get vintage tones floral garden there is nature trail and also you've got coastal cottage look at all of those gorgeous tones uh, that you're getting in there compared to just buying the starter kit alone so the starter kit is 25 pounds so if you want to go for the um the larger bundle the comprehensive one it's an extra 75 pounds on top however if you bought these on their own you're looking at extra 150 pounds worth 
of value. So it's like you're getting these for half price when you buy the star ticket. That is why over half the stock here uh, has sold out and gone. And remember, there's a lot of you ordering at the moment, so that would push it right up. And just lots of you watch this show back. You think about uh, guys in the US aren't, probably aren't even up yet. What's the time now in the US? Well, you might they might be up now in the US. I wouldn't be up it now if I lived in the US and I wasn't at work, let me assure you of that. Uh, Sarah would probably be up though, uh, I reckon. Uh, now, so Sarah's that got is, two young kids. Trust yeah, me, whatever a... time it is, Sarah will be up. <laughs> uh, don't forget as well about uh, the uh, blending collection as well. We've got that available uh, for you. Uh, loads of uh, comments still coming in as well. Dawn is saying uh, the cracking deals. Uh, should we do? Should we do our last egg while we're here? Whilst we're here, go Let's, on. Okey doke. I like this little basket. Look, it's got these lovely little chicks. It's got got my brothers on there. Uh, they're a little bit littler than me. Just just a tad. Uh, right. Let me just grab the uh, winner and let's pick the, our final winner. Uh, someone over in the head office has been picking all of our winners for us. So the last winner is Michelle Parsons, who is watching us on YouTube. Congratulations, uh, Michelle. So let me just pick this winner for you. So what are you winning, Michelle? You are going to win ten pounds. Uh, congratulations, Michelle. Make sure you email us, prizes at crafterscompanion.com. We've just given away $200 or £200 spend this morning here on uh, Crafters Companion. So happy Easter, guys. Uh, it is really lovely uh, spending the weekend with you. Don't forget how much more is still to come as well this Easter weekend. Craft Fault's coming up at the end of this show. Great deals in there. Best of will be here tomorrow. I'll be back for that at 11 a.m. in the UK or 6 a.m. if you're on the East Coast. You can watch it back at any time, of course. Uh, and then Monday morning, I'm gonna be here with Leanne. Uh, and, oh, is it Sarah? Oh, I thought it was Leanne. I'm here with Leanne's Sarah. in the afternoon. Ah, my bad. Sorry, boss. Uh, so I'll be here with Sarah in the morning at 11 a.m. or 6 a.m. if you're on the East Coast, looking at all things vintage lace. And then myself and Leanne will be back for Monday Makers uh, with you. Uh, so it's a jam-packed bank holiday weekend leading you in to next week but remember if you want to get the triple points you need to get your orders placed before the end of Monday and knowing the way that the stocks are moving on the website you don't have time to wait until the end of Monday we had an exceptionally busy cartload last night make sure you go back and watch that back for triple points across all of that right one more demonstration from Sarah whilst that's happening I'm going to get set up for the craft fault Oh, good plan. He's got a good fault today. Right, I've just trimmed that down. How good does that look? That one that we did. I love that technique with a little bit of water brought out. So that stencil's perfect for that, okay? Now, what I've done is, stamp set, I've just sat and cut them all out while you've been chatting here, the are, Joe. These beautiful peacock feathers, right? So I've sat and cut them all out and I've sprayed them on the back. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna just use a little bit, I did have my watermark ink pad somewhere handy. Here it is, right? I'm gonna stamp them in translucent and I've got some embossing powder here too. So just some different feathers that we're gonna put all over the background. So on here with the translucent ink and just stamping them down. I'm just stamping them and then kind of moving them as we go, okay? Now, this is if you want to do it with embossing powder. Now, if you didn't see Leanne's show on, um, what day was it, Monday, with our opaque pigment inks, trust me, you have missed an absolute treat. So go back and watch that. I'm just going to make sure these don't cross over at all, because uh, I can't see at all what I'm doing under these studio lights. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have picked the translucent ink. Maybe I should have used one of her ink pads to get us started, right? So um, I'm going to just stamp these all down and around to get a bit of a bit of a feel going here, right? And then a couple of ones in the middle as well. So yes, she, she was doing a, a show with our opaque pigment ink pads, which are brilliant for doing your embossing techniques, okay? So I would definitely recommend watching that show back if you want to do like a masterclass in embossing. I'm just going to show you the very, very basics here, okay? Emboss like a boss is what you can do if you watch Leanne's show. Now, hopefully, I'll have got enough on there to be able to show you this technique. Let's get a, just a nice piece of card underneath so that we can clean, get all of this off, right? I've got some just clear embossing powder. This would work lovely as well, by the way, with white. 
So I definitely recommend. But the reason we have so much clear is because with those opaque pigment inks, clear embossing powder is all you need. You only ever buy one colour embossing powder and all your inks are coloured underneath. So that's why we do so much with the uh, with the clear embossing powder. All right. So if I just tap this off, please stick to my stamps and please don't have got any extra around there. Let's have a look. I think we're looking all right. I wonder, you know, if I might uh, re-stamp them with a coloured ink. It's going to be a lot easier for you to see. Yep. I'll get these ready and I'll re-stamp it with a with a coloured ink. Can you see them a little bit? All right. Uh, I'll, try, I'll emboss this one, and if we can't quite see it enough, I'll all, I can always um, I can always re-stamp them with the uh, with the coloured ink. In fact, you know what I'm going to do because I can't I can't see even if you guys can, right? So there's that's we'll heat that one later. So I'll still keep that to use a little bit later, and then I'll get another pad. See how quickly and easily you go through all this lovely watercolour card. It's very very easy to do, right? So it's on thirty percent off today if you are stocking up. So, should we get a couple of nice colours of Leanne's opaque pigments? What colour should we do our background with? Uh, what colour? Uh, oh, it looks lovely with some blues and purples. So if I use, what, oh, we need our colour wheel out, Joe. What's opposite blue on the colour wheel? I'm asking you, you haven't got a clue, have you not? Not a clue. Not a clue. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> so let's have a look. I think like some orange and yellow would go with, are they the wrong pads? Get the writing pad, Sarah. So a bit of orange and yellow, and we'll do some orange and yellow ones to go to go opposite this, right? So orange, right? And we're going to stamp down these. You'll be able to see, no problem. Oh yes. Oh, Sarah. Do you know I need to cut a little bit closer around the edges? Not having any luck at you, Joe. Am I not? This is why. Do you know when I said to cut the stamps? You want to cut the stamps pretty close, right? So, what did I say about, uh, well, you can see where I've picked up the ink here. You want to go around, oh, Joe's just found us a colour wheel. Joe, you're so good. Oh, you are thanks. so good. I don't, know how, I don't know how I ever managed without you, right? Let's go and get this a little bit closer up, right? So, let's just check, were we right? So opposite blue on the cut. Oh my life! Look at this orange and yellow. Straight up. Oh, that's exactly what you want, right? That's a, that colour wheel, by the way, is in the compendium. Oh, you know, you all asked me to do a masterclass on the compendium. I've got it scheduled in. Oh, when? Oh, I think it's a week on Monday. Oh, there, that's fabulous. perfect now. So orange. Let's get a bit of yellow on there afterwards as well, uh, and we'll get the uh, orange and we'll get the yellow one. Now you can see what we're doing makes all the difference, doesn't it? All right. Uh, then we'll change stamps. Let's just make sure I've got all this nice and close as well. At least you can learn from my mistakes, guys. This is the beauty we're doing all these shows. You see, we are live, so um, you, you're getting you're getting us coming to you live. We're kind of all learning together, as it was. That's the idea. So I'm just mixing these colours together. I love this idea of using the uh, the orange and the yellow together. Oh, I'm still a little bit closer on the outside. I tell you what, we'll have it perfect. I think I, I think I'll get it close enough to be able to show you though, right? So uh, definitely. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be good enough to show you the technique, which I'm hoping is all right with everyone. Of course, it'll be all right because it's a good Friday. Leanne will be watching saying, Sarah, I've been through this with you a hundred times. Don't press so hard. <laughs> She's right as well. I'm always a bit gung-ho, all right? And these opaque pigment ink pads, I tell you what, are just, they really are something else. They're just a Fabulous, fabulous ink pad, especially those of you that do like the uh, embossing technique, right? So look at this, you could just do it this way. Press down on this and then here we go. Can I just say as well, we're so lucky, did you realise, Joe, most of our warehouse folks have all come in on overtime this weekend to go and still get all of your parcels out. Whoop so whoop. we are really, really, I'm just going to give a big shout out to the warehouse and say, uh, say how grateful we are, all right? So, and we've even had quite a few people from the office go over to the warehouse uh, to help pack. They've been so careful. They're all using the, um, 
they're all they've all got their face masks they're all in uh, isolated in the little room they're at least they're, they're most of them are about uh, six meters apart so they're quite a long way apart we've completely reworked the way that we do our our warehousing all about packing like that keep all the stuff safe but to be able to keep them packing right and the staff are just do you know what they're just so grateful that we're able to keep them coming into work we we're very, very lucky to have uh, to have been able to keep trading through this, and I'm just I just feel like I need to thank all of you guys for continuing to support us as a business as well. It's um, you know we don't we don't take time to say this sort of thing very often, but can I just tell you it's it's really appreciated and it's keeping. I have 220 staff here at Crackers Companion, and I am doing absolutely everything I can to keep those 220 staff in jobs. And I'm really pleased to see that you guys are doing everything you can to keep those 220 people in jobs as well. And it's, um, you know, and, and that's why we're spoiling you with all these extra shows. But it's just nice that everybody's, uh, everybody's a winner with this show. Everybody gets something to benefit out of it. So you can see that turning there. What I'll do is I'll heat them from the back so that the lovely close-up camera can see that moment where they do the turn, right? I think it's fabulous one of my favorite techniques to watch this one and all you do is you heat them not too close to the back but close to the back and then also as long as you keep your heat gun moving you shouldn't get any um like any burning or scorching behind the back here she says as she kept her one there i could smell it before i could see it mm -hmm. right so turn this one round here uh get these couple of bits over here and it just give as long as you've got the embossed piece you can do your embossing and then the ink is going to go over top of where we've done the embossing. So it's just about mixing all of your different products together. Right? Is that everything we've got there? I believe. Oh, a little tiny bit down there. Little bit down there. And we are going. We are going good. We're going perfect. Right? Now, so we said we'd use the blue. I've got lovely deep blue. I've got a nice pale blue and we can mix between the two, okay? So watch what happens, okay? When I put this on, you can see it's resisting where we've got the inked pieces, right? And then we're gonna do exactly the same here. Now I'm being told we've had more new viewers on today than we have had any day this week. And do you know what I think it might be, Joe? Joe and I were on earlier this morning over on the Silver Surfers webpage. Yes, so if you watched us over there, uh, say hello. Tell us, give us, you know, mention us in the comments. Say what you've uh, been enjoying. Is this the first time you've watched any of our shows? Have you been learning some new stuff? Uh, it'd be really lovely to hear from everybody, okay? Let's have a look at this. If I wash this over, you can see there where it's resisting. Didn't quite hate that one enough. These ones down here we did. And then what's going to happen is, after it's all dry, we're going to be able to buff this and we're going to be able to take that colour off and see those beautiful embossed pieces behind. Love this down here. All right. Now, any of the brushes I'm using, by the way, I mean, I'm hoping, I was guessing most of you would probably have um, a brush at home. Right? So you would probably have some sort of brush. Any brushes will do, okay? Uh, but if you don't, then we do have 20% off all of the Royal and Langnickel. So these are the brushes that we use. Got 20% off all of those today. Now, that just needs a couple of minutes to dry. And then when it does, what I'll be able to do is buff over this to bring that colour to the forefront. I'll pop that to one side. I'm wondering if some of these others that we worked with are dry enough to do some of the techniques with them. So for example, here's the one where we did the wash, right? And then if I show you, all we're going to do is, if we just drop a couple of splodges of colour over the back of here, right, you can see that we can do that same technique to lift that colour out and we can do a four bleaching with our kind of splatter effect. So that's one thing that we do, and you'll find it works better on the deeper colours. And the longer you leave it, the more colour will drag out of there. Right, so there's our there's the splodging effect, and then the last thing I had to show you was that um, has our salt. Oh, I don't think our salt's quite dry enough. Oh, we can come back to that next week at some point if you want, Joe. You can see it's still a little bit wet. Oh, I'll post it on social. What I'll do is we'll wait for this one to dry, and then a little bit later I'll do the reveal. Once it's totally dry, you rub away the salt, 
but I'll do a, I'll do a little video and you'll see it. I post that on Crafters TV Facebook page and you'll be able to see. Right, that is me and all of my demos through there. I just about got through everything I wanted to show you. If you haven't been watching from the beginning, you've been we've been doing. Let's have a look. We just learned about let's put you down here before we go we learned about um the basic pens how to prime them and how to mix colors how to watercolor with them then we did they then do the oh yes then we did the gorgeous uh areas oh, i've got one under here did it do we did that lovely unicorn right from the unicorn we went on to do the butterflies oh we missed out the fairy we did the fairy earlier as well we learned how to do the fairy dragging out the color we did the stenciling effect where you've got the stencils and you lift it out we did the salt which obviously we're just waiting for that salt to dry and we can rub the salt off and we also did the effect uh, that i've put oh, that i put over here to dry where we did the embossing powder and when that dries we'll buff that off and you get that beautiful embossing effect left with it the one that i've got to finish by the way that's the one so this is done with white embossing powder and you can see how it resists and then we've done the splatter technique but you can also see how that lovely sparkle is just showing on there as well now i'm just the warm-up act i'm just the amuse bush oh yeah Isn't that right? i'm just the amuse bush to the real deal. Joe <laughs> is going to give you a recap of everything we had on the show, and then he's coming up with his craft fault. I am indeed. I've put my bonnet back on specially as well. So you, Thomas, has just commented saying, woohoo, I won the hundred pound egg. You Yay! did indeed, Sue. Uh, congratulations and happy Easter. And uh, now I want to give you a recap on everything you've seen in this show. We've had a very, very busy show. Uh, almost half the stock of the uh, starter bundle has sold out and gone. Congratulations if you've got it. £25 if you're in the UK. $33 if you are in the US. Uh, you've got the watercolor card pad there you've got the rubber stamps three of the sparkle pens and the waterproof uh, finesse ink pad there uh, now we also had for you the uh, stamp and stencil collection three of the rubber stamps uh, the photopolymer stamp and the layering stencil uh, you'd pay more ordinarily just for the uh, stamp and stencil you're getting it all uh, for less than half price, £16 or $21.50 there. Now, if you were thinking about going for the starter kit, you need the bumper kit really, because for an extra £75, we give you an extra £150 worth of value. Uh, so for £100, you get a really comprehensive collection. Six of the six packs of pens, you're getting a, a three pack of pens as well. You get 39 sparkle pens in total here, as well as a watercolour card the stamp and also uh, the ink pad too. Now the Spectrum Noir uh, blending kit, very, very busy on this one. Uh, you get the square and rectangle, uh, sorry, the rectangle and the round blending tools, the refills for those. Uh, you also get the brayer, you get the mat, you get the misters, you're gonna get the blending eggs there as well, and you're going to get the palette there too. Now, something we didn't have time to show you, but is busy as well, is the Gemini Fancy Font Word Stamp and Die full collection. Uh, you're saving 30% on this, £50 if you're in the UK, or $60 if you are in the US. Now, it is that time, the bit you've all been waiting for. It is, of course, time to journey into the craft vault. Oh, okay. Uh, so <laughs> we're just going to get right on with it. We're pressed for time uh, today. So in the craft box, the craft box came around by me wanting to bring you really, really fabulous deals. Uh, and um, they said no, and I nagged and whinged, and, and then they said yes, which is fantastic. So it's all about me moaning at people, trying to get you great deals. Now look what I've got your half price deal on here. If you've just gone for your sparkle pens, I've got a half price deal on the universe Universal Spectrum Noir uh, pen storage for you. So these are fabulous. So what you've got is six pieces in each. Now these are great because they store uh, like so. So if you want to have them against the wall, you can store them up. Let me show you on the side so you can see. You can store them so they go horizontally. Your sparkle pens will go in here. Your classics, your illustrators, your tri blends, they will hold all of your different pens. So you can either store them like that or what you can do is you can actually um, cascade them as well. So you, they sort of cascade backwards. So you can see all of your different pens in there. You get six in total. Also, what you can do with them, which is quite cool, is you can store them sort of too wide. They clip together there. 
and then what you can do is then come in and store them like that as well. Loads of different ways of using these. You can multi-order them if you want to. So you've definitely got enough to house all of your sparkle pens that you've just gone for. I can hear it's very busy on that one. 20% uh, of the stock there already gone. So, oh no, I haven't put it back together. I'll do it afterwards. Don't you worry about that. Now, uh, the rubber stamp collection. Uh, this one is fantastic. You buy one, you get one free. I said you... You buy one, you get one free. Absolutely. So you've got in here uh, the graceful peacock and the fish tails in there. Going to be perfect to go with your sparkle pens if you've just got them. So get those in your basket, get them checked out. Also, oh, shut the front door, put the bins out and twiddle the blinds. You're going to get triple points still, even on these craft vault items. I know that is phenomenal, right? So next one we're going to go to is Oh, the Scent With Love collection. Now these are fabulous. Now these are three dies that we've got in here for you. So you've got Scent With Love. You've also got Thinking Of You. Great for your mini if you've got the mini. If you need the mini, go back and see it on Cartload last night. And you've got Just For You, uh, which is this one just here. Now these are great because what you've got is, I'm gonna open it up. Let's go, I'm gonna go rogue. Oh, I haven't got any nails, so I can't get in. There we are. Uh, so let's just open this up. I love the new packaging on these as well, the cardboard packaging. Let me just open this up to show you. So what you've got is in here, now you've got the die itself, which is amazing. The scent would love it, pops it out individually. And then what you've also got is the outside edge die, as you can see. So you can create the mat for those three words uh, to sit onto, and it's the same for all all three of those um, dies that you've got there. What a great price. Again, half price. Everything in my craft vault today is half price. Loads of you went for the mini last night. Perfect to go with those. Now, we're going to move on to this one here, which is a circle swing base die. It's £9.50. Now, this is a lot of metal for your money within here. You get full instructions included as well. And it is a, uh, a concept die. So it's a five by five uh, finished card that you're going to be able to make with these. It's going to be very, very popular. It is half price. And it comes on the magnetic sheet as well, by the looks of it. So you've even got that. If you got your storage last night, you're going to be able to store that nice and easily too. Okay, the next one is uh, the Jane Nestorenko metal die and stamp set. Now this is fabulous because you're able to stamp that image out and then you've got the die to enable you to cut it as well. It's six pounds, you can see here, it's less than half price this one, so you can see here everything that you've got. Stamp that image out, uh, then you can uh, then cut it out with your die. Really fantastic if you've got your pens to colour that in with as well. Now the next one, something I hadn't ever seen before and it's fabulous. Can we just appreciate how beautiful this packaging is as well with the foiling? I mean it is lovely and it reminds me of, you know those sweets that you used to get in a tin when you, from the service station when you went on a long journey? It reminds me of those. So in here you've got a tape measure and tailor's chalk in this one. So you can see here, really great quality uh, tape measure in there and then some... Um, Oh, this paper makes me go a bit funny. I don't know why. It's one of those things. It's just tissue paper. I don't know why. But you've then got your tailor's chalk as well. So if you are doing any kind of tailoring, you see, you see, you see that on there, and then it will just brush out afterwards. Oh, it's that. Oh, you get. Oh, you get. Oh, I can't touch the other one. You get two in there. Uh, you know what it is like. I'm the same with you know cotton wool balls. Oh, I can't touch them. I don't know why. Uh, I've got to put the uh, tape measure back in there. So you have got the black chalk and the white chalk in there. So it depends what garment you're working on. I should have probably put it on this one here. Now five ninety five is not a choice. You're going to get both of these. And in this one, what you've got is uh, your pins and your thimble as well. So all of your pins. So if you know someone that's a keen dressmaker, what a lovely little gift this could be. What a lovely little care package. Because what we can do is we can charge you and then we can send it to someone else if you want. 5 95 would normally get you one. Oh no, it gets you two today because it is, of course, in the craft vault. Now, the tote bag from the Makery. These are always so popular, these kits, when we bring it to you. This is for you to make your own tote bag. Let me just bring that in so you can see that they can see the finished design that you're working towards and you get everything included in here. Two lots of fabric, the cotton tape, the keychain, the yarn, the instructions and the needle as well to make your own beautiful tote bag. Two bags, are you kidding me? £2.50. Wowzers. £2.50. Not one per customer either. I'll just adjust my, just adjusting my big there. Do, do bear with. Uh, not, <laughs> let me move that back a bit. Not, of course, 
doesn't look any better, does it? Let's face it. Uh, not one per customer on those as well. And again, you could get that and send it to someone else. 375 if you're in the US. Now, the last one, I've saved the best till last. I really have. So, have you, do you know someone that's just getting into craft for the first time? Are you new to craft? Do you need inspiration? We've got, um, we've got crafters inspiration. Oh no, I've got the sticker on it. Me and these stickers, I've got no, no, I've got no nails, you see, so I can't ever get them off. I've got them. I've got this. You've got this, Joe. I could peck it open. Uh, let me get that table. There we are. So let's open this up. Now, I love Crafts Inspiration. For £9.99, these are half price. So you're looking at £5 each for these or £7.50 each if you're in the US. Bear it in mind, with the Crafts Inspiration, you get £50 worth of crafting goodies. That's right. You're paying for 10% of this. So let me open it up and show you what I've got inside. So you've got the magazine, firstly, and the magazine is brilliant. It is packed full. This one has got 73 projects in there. Project from our Sarah, uh, Craig's got projects in here as well, loads of the guys from the design teams, you've got Spectrum Noir in, uh, inspiration, you've got Christmas ideas, there is a bit of something for everyone. This one is a Christmas edition, so that was issue 24 of our quarterly magazine. In here as well, you're going to get some stamps. Now think about what you'd pay for the stamps, you'd pay $4.99 just for the stamps. You've got an embossing folder, you'd easily pay $4.99 for the embossing folder. You've got some dies. These will go through your mini as well. You'd easily pay $4.99 for these. And we've also uh, got nine exclusive collections giving you 850 printable elements in a CD-ROM. You're getting all of that for $9.99, but that's not it because what you've also got is of course, uh, you've got So Inspired as well, which also has some tape on the front top of it too. Let me just grab this over here. So you're going to get the So Inspired one as well. Now, let me just grab this from here. You're going to be a bit more delicate with the tape than I am, of course. Let's open this up. Now, this one has £30 worth of crafting goodies in it. So let's get this one out of here. Now, what you've got in here is you've got your uh, magazine itself. With the magazine, you've got 20 amazing projects in the magazine with all sorts of different ones. This is a very, this is a very new one as well. Um, this is issue 19, which is a really uh, recent one. Uh, this is, you've got a lovely wallet um, in here. You've got some quilting ideas in there. Uh, you've got uh, some bags. You really have got a little bit of everything for the King Sewer from some of our uh, valuable design team. Oh, what's in here? Oh, you've got charms in here. So you've got metal um, sort of clips and charms in there. And you've got a um, day to night bag. You've got a pattern for a day to night bag as well. Now you get all of that for $9.99. It is a fabulous, fabulous deal to get both Crafters Inspiration and So Inspired. That was my craft fault. Don't miss it. We'll see you back here a little bit later in the US for um, our HSM preview. Thanks for joining us for our first ever uh, Colour Me Happy. I hope you have a great weekend. Let us know what you thought of it in the comments, and I'll see you back here again soon. Uh, I'm going to go and... Uh, what do chickens eat for lunch? I don't know. I'll find out. See you later.